Hi Julie, last time I spoke to you, you were talking to me about how heaven was made for bad people, like me. Right. How can heaven be for good people when God says in Romans 3.12 that there is none who does good no not one? The very fact that one is fighting against the righteousness of Christ to establish their own righteousness proves Isaiah 64 6 to be true. That all our righteousnesses are like filthy rags. Hell is full of good doers but God says that doing good for the sake of evil is bad. In Proverbs 16 18 it says that pride comes before a fall and Romans 3 23 says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That we and Adam fell from God's righteousness and fell to our righteousness and he does not say that some fall short of the glory of God but says that all fall short. It was our righteousness whereby we fell from the righteousness of God. How then can our righteousness get us back to God? Are you saying then that a person gets to heaven by doing bad? Neither our good deeds or bad deeds have anything to do with whether or not one enters heaven. But it's a matter of whether or not one has stopped depending on a presence of good in their life and an absence of bad in their life to get themselves into heaven. And to simply trust Christ and his righteousness alone to get themselves into heaven. John 14 6 says Jesus said to them I am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the Father except through me. Notice he does not say that some people come to the Father through themselves but says that no one comes to God except through Christ. The reason people do not go to heaven is because they think they are too good to have earned hell and therefore don't need the Savior to save them. So in other words, how can a person come to the Father if they reject the Son? And how can someone ever be saved from hell if they reject the Savior? Precisely. Acts 4.12 says nor is there salvation in any other for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. So no one other than Christ can save a person. Right. And if we trust Christ and his righteousness alone for our salvation, then we will be accepted by God because we will have his son's righteousness and not ours. That's right. In Romans 5 6 it says that Christ died for the ungodly it does not say that he died for good people but that he died for bad people. So the only thing one can do to be saved is to do nothing but trust that he took care of it all for us on the cross. Right. When the question is asked in Acts 16 30 to 31 what must we do to be saved? It does not say for us to get the good into our lives and to get the bad out of our lives. It simply says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved.